Versatility is always a bonus and she has got it A plus for that. Once again, wig friends, I'm Nikki and welcome back to my channel. I upload at least three days per week. I would love for you to just join the party I've got going on here. I say that because I try to have as much fun as I possibly can on this channel. And all you have to do is click the subscribe button, then you will get notified and not miss any uploads. If you already have subscribed, thank you so very much. I greatly do appreciate it. I am bringing you a wig review today, and I really want to kindly thank Ebony Line for sending me this unit to review for you. It is so very much appreciated. And down in the description box, you will be able to find the link to be able to purchase her. And I'm here to tell you all about her. I'm going to let you know all the important deets. Please give me your respectful feedback. You can also let me know if there is a wig you'd like me to review since I happily do take requests. But we are going to move on and get to the good stuff. And who I have today is a wig from Janet Collection. And she is in the style Inez. She is a 13 by 6 HD lace front from the Melt Collection. I have got her in the color Butler Scotch, which you can see the stock card model is wearing right there. She does come available in a few other colors. I do like how they show some of them on the back of the stock card. And some of her uh, features is she is got transparent lace for a seamless blend with any skin tone or color. She is pre-plucked, pre-customized, has a natural hairline with baby hairs, and is heat safe up to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So this here is Inez right out of the box. And let's take a look at our lace and cap construction. So first off, I see those baby hairs. Lace looks really good on the inside. We of course have the 13 by six lace area for free parting. She does have one comb over here and one comb over here. She does also have one comb in the back, handy dandy adjustable straps, breathable mesh lining. Oh, she stretches really good. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I get excited when I see that, okay? <laughs> it's looking like she's gonna be larger head friendly, but I'll let you know for sure when I come right back with my final thoughts. All right, everybody, you can see now that I am back. The eyeshadow look that I created today, I used uh, with the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos. These here are the shades. One of my all time favorite palettes, by the way, just so you know. All right, so Inez here. I'll be honest, she did take me a little while to get ready, but it wasn't because she was difficult to put together. It was just, I couldn't decide how I really wanted to style her. As you can see, I did decide to go with the center part, but I thought she looked really nice regardless of how I parted her. And technically you don't even have to part her with a traditional part per se. You can just do like a flip over too. So versatility is always a bonus and she has got it A plus for that. 
She actually reminds me of a shorter version of Bisa. Ironically, I reviewed Bisa in this exact same color, so maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know for sure. Just telling you how I see it. But Bisa is one of my all-time favorite straight wigs, but at times she can be a little bit too long. So to have a shorter version of her now, I'm on cloud nine. Really, really happy. You know when I'm happy. I'll let you know, and I'm letting you know I'm happy. Because this style, I think, is perfect for so many different situations. A good everyday style, actually. But I will mention a couple things with the stock card. First off, she looks like she's all one length from there, regardless of how you part her. But that is definitely not the case here. She's got some layers. And I would say she is between 22 and 24 inches long. I'm five foot five for reference, but I do like the layers. I'm not complaining about it, just pointing it out to you so you know. And I think her density is absolute perfection. So again, a natural looking style. I'm always happy with that too. <laughs> this color, another thing I wanna point out on the stock card, looks a little bit different the roots look a little darker and then it kind of has more of an ashier tone in a way or a sandy blonde actually that's not really what you get this is what you get instead but it's so beautiful it's one of my favorite shades of blonde from Janet collection and just look at the different tones super professional looking and i don't mind the roots i don't think they're too harsh i think it's all blended very nicely transitions good just gorgeous and then look at that luster too. Cannot go wrong with that. Looks very, very healthy and natural. Her texture, definitely silky. I know some people hate the silky units, but she does feel realistic. She feels really super soft and I do think she is multicultural. Let's see her from the side and the back. she looks too bad draped either if you want to wear her like that because tangling I know can be more of an issue with the straight silk units but she's not tangling all too bad and you can see that I can run my fingers through her I mean granted I do come across a couple tangles here and there thankfully they come out easily I mean you always have to be careful with synthetic units when it comes to tangles but I think feel that you have to be even extra cautious with straight units like this because otherwise the ends are going to look really ratty and then you have to trim it or you won't get as much use out of it so just be careful with that but again they're not really severe tangles so I don't think it should be a problem therefore very easy to manage shedding is not anything excessive either I and mean, granted I did experience a little bit more shedding in the beginning been wearing it for almost two hours now and since it slowed down I just pretty much brushed that off the shoulder it's not anything I'm very concerned about just letting you know you might get a little bit more in the beginning but us avid wig wearers are pretty used to that anyway so um as I mentioned I decided to do a center part I know it's not the most fanciest part but it's what I did and I do love the fact that she lays really really flat I do think that she is pretty easy to blend. I mean, granted, you can see a little bit of my wig cat there because the lace is pretty transparent. I should probably add some more powder to that. But I'm also used to this at this point. And everybody who knows me already knows that I wear wigs. And if I go out in public and encounter strangers, I don't think they're gonna be looking right at my part. If they do, that is their problem. So I'm not really worried about it, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, but what I really love is the fact that she has a pre-plucked hairline. Cause you guys know that I hate it with a passion when they say it's pre-plucked and then it turns out not to be. At least they told the truth this time. So this is looking pretty good, I think. Um, I will point out though that you can kind of see some knots there, but not really bad. I still think that she's easy to blend. It does say on the stock card after all that she blends with all skin tones and colors. So that's always a bonus. And she's got some baby hairs. I don't mind the baby hairs either. I think that they're natural looking. They're also ones that should be easy to lay down if you like to lay down the baby hairs. And if you don't like baby hairs, they're not too noticeable. So win-win situation. 
She um, does fit really nicely around the edges here, as you can see, so easy for blending. I do not glue this side down, so you can see there's just a slight little bit of lift up, but nothing too bad. She's also right above each ear perfectly. She's really super comfortable and definitely larger head friendly. I mean, after all, you saw how she stretched in the intro. I did have to take the adjustable straps to the tightest setting, and I still have a little bit of wiggle room in there, so she's definitely gonna work out for everybody. I totally love this wig. I, yeah, really do. You know I'm gonna give her the thumbs up. Absolutely, she deserves it. I think this is one you should get. And that is my thoughts and feelings on her. Please don't forget to tell me your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you already got her. I'd like to know how you feel about her. And if you are going to go get her after watching this review, please let me know that too. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I got for today. Thank you so very much for watching. I always appreciate it. I'll catch you next time in my next video. So until then, bye-bye. <laughs>